to get in a couple of questions from our mailbag, you can email me at Megan, M-E-G-Y-N, at MeganKelly.com. I love this one. Okay, this is from Joe about Shadi Hamid, who came on the other day. We talked about Trump. We talked about democracy. And he talked about how the night Trump won in 16, he cried. But his dad, an immigrant, set him straight on how democracy works and how people had been heard and that was a good thing and about how you'd have another chance four years later, you know, to change the outcome. Uh, Joe writes into the show, I loved this interview, especially when he spoke about his father's wisdom on the night Trump got elected. When Shaddy talked about getting another bite at the apple in four years, I thought that was a perspective that could only be brought to the U.S. by immigrants coming from oppressive environments and it should be amplified. Thank you for that, Joe. Adam writes in, uh, I am a true conservative, and I greatly appreciate it when you have guests like Shaddy and Ryan Grimm on to give me the opportunity to question my opinions and expand my horizons. Thank you for that. This is, um, I hope you notice, one of the only shows out there, certainly one of the only podcasts that has people from the left and the right come on regularly because we want to make sure nobody manipulates your brain, right? It ma- makes you think just like a conservative or just like a liberal. We're not trying to do that here. We're trying to expose you to different points of view and opinions. Um, here's another one. Oh, here's a nice, this is a sweet one from Laura. Same thing. Loved your conversation with Shaddy, listening to him speak. I couldn't help but think of Jesus's words in Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be so- called sons of God. We need a million more voices like his. And can I tell you something? You know who else loved the Shaddy interview? Uh, Doug Brunt, my husband. He was, it was one of the first ones he came home and he was like, I love that guy. That was a great interview and really enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen it, uh, what episode was that, Steve? It was last week, but I don't remember the episode number for the people. He's going to go check it out. Mm. He's going to find it. Another comment here from uh, Amy. We talked about how uh, with Clay Travis, they're going to crack down on sports teams even more now. It's like not enough to get rid of the Cleveland Indians uh, or the Washington Redskins. It's going to, I, I joke, soon they're going to be coming after the Syracuse Orange. They're going to decide well, Orange is somehow offensive. And Amy writes in, I uh, heard that discussion. Um, she says uh, about coming for the orange, right before I started at Syracuse, the chancellor actually did come for it. It used to be the orange men. She thought the men was offensive and removed it. You know what? That really did happen. I remember that. Um, orange men was deemed, I guess, offensive. <laughs> How long can the Cleveland Browns last? I don't know. What is it? Episode what? It was just Monday? My God. What's today? Is today... Today's Wednesday? No, today's Thursday. <laughs> today's Thursday. Um, okay, yeah. 442, episode, episode 442. Okay, so you can you can hear Shaddy for yourself, what Doug and Joe and Adam and Laura love so much at episode 442. Um, listen, love today's exchange. Would love to know what you guys think. You can email me and get in the mailbag at megan at megankelly.com. And uh, we'll try to get your calls in tomorrow. Wanted to make sure we got some of our written submissions in because if people take the time, they write in, we appreciate it. And you can subscribe again at megankelly.com for the American News Minute. If you want to see all the hot hits of the week and also just get all the news of the week in 60 seconds or less. I mean, We've had the audience time us over and over, and we nail it. So you don't have to go perusing the internet internet to find out what you're going to talk about at your weekend cocktail parties or football games. You can just subscribe. Uh, It doesn't cost you anything. We don't spam you. You only get one little email uh, from us a week. Uh, Check it out. Did you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? Oh, my God. (laughs) Yet another thing to worry about. It can lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses. Is this explaining a lot in your world? Then pay attention because Miracle Brand offers a whole line of self-cleaning, eco-friendly bedding like sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent 99% of bacteria and require three times less laundry, less laundering of them. Mm. Miracle Brand sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long so you'll get better sleep every night. They are infused with natural silver that prevents 99.9% of bacterial growth. How about that? Miracle sheets, the well-named, are the perfect gift for your spouse, friends, and family. Who doesn't want better sleep and luxurious feeling bed sheets? And since these come with three free towels, you get two gifts in one. Stop sleeping on bacteria. (laughs) Go try miracle.com slash MK to try today. 
okay? Go to trymiracle.com slash MK to try today or gift it to someone special this holiday season. And Miracle is so confident in their product, it is backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle brand. Go to trymiracle.com slash MK, trymiracle.com slash MK, and use that code MK to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, trymiracle.com slash MK to treat yourself, a friend, or a loved one this holiday season. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.